Roblox got exposed once again by a giant news corporation, but at the same time they also apologized and fixed a lot of big problems on their website, but then again they also made some stuff worse and I'm going to get into all that and more in today's video after I ask you to subscribe. Okay, because for every 5 subs I get, I will pet my cat. Actually, you know what today there's a special deal for every one sub. I get I will pet my cat. Okay, so please hit the subscribe button alright? Either way I'm back and I'm ready to record a freaking news video dude, because there's been so much news such as this one that I think needs to be talked about first, because it's kind of important, and it also branches into other parts of this video, let's just talk about it, the Hindenburg Research Company, I don't know exactly what they do and whatnot, I think they are like, an investment company type of thing, Amajig, like they talk about companies and whatnot because they invest in them. I think I'm pretty sure I could be completely wrong, uh, and I probably am, but who they are doesn't really matter, all that matters is that they are a big company that talks about a lot of big companies. Okay, and they also exposed Roblox in the past in a certain way, but they've done it once again as of two days ago with this post on Twitter that says, Roblox's CEO David Bazucki was on CNBC today calling the platform a beacon for safety and civility, we found over 50 Roblox group chat walls that are active right now with no age restriction where users are, this is bad, and then they basically link a bunch of different groups and games that are like inappropriate now with all this in mind, this is like a big deal, like dude, these are the worst things known to man, like these screenshots included in this report are terrible, they are awful bro. Like there's no, no excuse on how these things are on Roblox, like they show screenshots of people using like Morse code and stuff to like hide really inappropriate stuff in groups and it is absolutely disgusting. Alright, I'm just gonna keep it 100. Now there is good news that has happened with this because Roblox has banned I think every single group that was in this tweet thread. Another really good thing is that they banned this game in specific which you may have seen before. I remember a lot of YouTubers talked about it in the past. It seems like in the past couple months, the game has just gotten so much worse. It was always just like a bad game, but now the game has kind of turned into something that's literally only used for complete and utter malicious intent. The craziest part about it is that they put YouTubers in it. I don't know why, maybe they talked about this game in the past, but they have creators in the game with a label that says, YouTubers who've played before, I have never played this game in my life, and I'm glad they're gone. Yo, whoever made this game, I wish you the worst, I'm gonna be honest. But it seems like Roblox is taking even more precautions, and they even actually responded to this whole thing in some sort of way because they released this update, I think the day after or the same day of this report where basically users that were under 13 could no longer see group walls anymore just on any group. Here's a tweet about that from Bloxy News that says, in preparation for the release of Roblox communities and forums, and in efforts to keep children safe on the platform, posting to a group wall is now limited to users ages 13 plus posting. Okay, I was already misinformed about about this, I thought you couldn't read them if you were under 13, but now okay, I guess all these group walls are going to be disappearing. Uh, in the next coming months because of the whole community's update, but still I think Roblox should just do an early wipe on all these groups, because over the past couple of months I've been seeing so many YouTubers talk about how bad these groups are. And dude, it, it, it's bad, it's really bad, the Roblox group section is terrible dude, it's been overran by awful people. And I don't think that this update here where, you know, users under the age of 13 can't post on the group wall, is really going to fix that dude. I guess the communities and forums update will fix that, but dude, it needs to come sooner, bro, because it's just getting worse and worse every day, but I don't know, that's what I've seen Roblox kind of responded to the all the things they banned all the groups, but either way, let's move on to the next story, which happens to be Roblox responding to something else, because in one of my previous videos, I talked about how Roblox will be removing legacy chat. Now, in my video about this, I stupidly did not mention, or I don't think I mentioned that if you didn't actually make your game compatible with the new text chat service, your game would be banned or potentially banned. I don't know why I didn't really mention that in full detail because that is very, very important. But as you can see in the original tweet, it says that if you do not migrate to the new text chat service, you might get moderated, which basically means that your game will get banned, which is such a dumb way to handle this whole situation because number one, the legacy chat service is still good and it is useful for some people. I think the new text chat service is way better, okay? But a lot of games use the old text chat service and a lot of old games use the old text chat service. 
So if you release this update where you're going to start banning games that use the old text chat service, it's just not going to end well, right? And a lot of other developers felt that way. So Roblox eventually responded to it with this. Roblox has seen the community feedback regarding the removal of legacy chat and custom chat systems, and have provided additional clarifications and changes with a new deforum post, which is awesome. Now, let's look at this deforum post. They basically say here, Hi creators, we appreciate everyone's feedback and we recognize this is a major change, and wanted to follow up with some clarification and changes that we've made based on your feedback. We've updated the body of the original post to reflect these changes. They basically just go into why they're doing this, which basically I think the initial reason was because it's easier for them to update the new chat service to make it more compatible with different laws and safety regulations in certain countries and whatnot. And also the new parental controls kind of played into this. But then if you go down into the bottom of this post, it says clarifying our policy on moderating non-compliant experiences. We will prioritize autumn migrating first, disabling chat second, and only as a last resort restricting access to experiences, which is amazing because before, I'm pretty sure Roblox moderating these experiences and potentially banning them was the first option, which is not a good first option, dude. So I'm glad that they changed it and they made it. So the last option is banning the experiences, which I think is, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, W Roblox for this update in specific, very awesome. But now we can move on to something else that's pretty important, which just happens to be Roblox, also responding to people's complaints about the DMCA, like, ban thing that's been going on, because if you don't know, a lot of people have been getting their assets completely deleted and it actually gets their account banned. Sometimes it's a very common thing, and it seems like Roblox is trying to fight against that by letting developers and creators actually archive their own items so they don't get banned, I'm guessing. So as you can see here, Block just tweeted out this starting today, the Roblox Marketplace creators can manually archive non-limited avatar items via the creator dashboard, which basically just means like kind of like delete them. I think you can still get moderated for these things, but uh, it's just less likely and it also just takes them off sale and whatnot. It is a good update. All right. Now, the main thing here is that Bloxy News goes into the comments and replies to someone saying that you can actually archive 2D classic clothing, which is awesome because that's something that we've wanted for a long time because so many people have been getting banned for having like Nike shirts that they uploaded when they were like 12. And for the longest time you've had to like email Roblox and be like, please delete these things. I don't want them on my account anymore because I could get banned. And sometimes whenever you would send those emails, Roblox would just straight up ban you instead, which sucked. But now it is completely available for you to just archive these assets yourself to prevent yourself from getting banned, which is awesome, super cool. And so many people are very, very hyped about this, but now we can move on to the next pretty cool update, which just happens to be this feedback update. But yeah, I talked about this before, and it seems like it's kind of getting closer to being released because Bloxy News has released some concept images that look like this. Uh, they, they look pretty cool, where basically, yeah, if you go to vote for an experience, it could look like this in the future. Now keep in mind these are just concepts, but it is a confirmed update that will be happening where you will be able to like rate experiences based on like a, a scale and also give like text details on why you like certain games and whatnot, which is pretty cool. Bloxy News also says here that users also be able to soon anonymously provide feedback about an experience and send it directly to the creator, which is awesome. That is something that has been wanted for a long time from developers. And honestly, this is such a good update and replacement for messages because really the only way to get feedback as a developer is either on social media, which a lot of people don't like to use, or the Roblox messages system, which is now gone, you know? So having this feedback option is just awesome. Yeah, shout out Roblox for this update. And now we can get on to some sadder stuff, which just happens to be a lot of people complaining about fish. So there's this game called Fish on Roblox. I've played it, I think, a couple of times. It's pretty cool, but a lot of people really like it. It's a top Roblox game right now, and it seems like they have sold to a company that a lot of people don't like. So I've been seeing a bunch of tweets, like here's just one about it that says, So Fish got bought by the people who own Blade Ball. Really sucks to see this. My goat game is washed. Can't have anything on Roblox anymore, bro. Which I don't get why people are mad. Is this Janelle's group? I'm not sure, but it's basically a group called Do Big Studios. They own Dusty Trips, so maybe it is Janelle. I think it is Janelle, right? 
a lot of people are super duper mad that it got bought out, but honestly, I feel like it's not really going to have a big difference to the game because most of the games that this company has bought out, like Blade Ball and Dusty Trips, haven't changed much since they got bought out. If I'm going to be real, maybe I'm wrong because I'm not a huge Blade Ball player, but every game that I see Janelle buy doesn't change very much and frankly I think they get better. If I'm going to be honest, they get a lot more quality updates to them usually. That's kind of what the developer of Fish actually said. They made a response basically saying, hey I didn't sell the game, I'm still on the team, it's just this Do Big Studios company is going to be helping them with updates, which is, yeah, kind of what usually happens with these games. They kind of like, give a cut of their money to this company for them to like, give a lot more resources and help to make updates and whatnot. It's not like the worst thing ever I guess. I don't know if games should be like, you know, taking these deals, but I mean they do be offering I think like life-changing money. I'm pretty sure I've never seen one of these offers but I imagine it's a lot of money for these games because trust me, Roblox games make so much money. It's insane. So I imagine this woozy Nate person got an astounding amount of money, and it's honestly hard to turn down, especially when they're promising to help you further with this game in the process, like, it kind of seems like a win-win. You know, if they were bought out by GameFam, then maybe we would have a conversation, but this Do Big Studios is not really that bad from what I could see, you know.